Adventism is a branch of Protestantism which began in the 19th century in the context of the Second Great Awakening revival in the United States. The name refers to belief in the imminent Second Coming, or Second Advent, of Jesus Christ. William Miller started the Adventist movement in the 1830s. His followers became known as Millerites. Although the Adventist churches hold much in common, their theologies differ on whether the intermediate state is unconscious sleep or consciousness, whether the ultimate punishment of the wicked is annihilation or eternal torment, the nature of immortality, whether or not the wicked are resurrected after the millennium, and whether the sanctuary of Daniel 8 refers to the one in heaven or one on earth. The movement has encouraged the examination of the whole Bible, leading Seventh-day Adventists and some smaller Adventist groups to observe the Sabbath. The General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists has compiled that church's core beliefs in the 28 Fundamental Beliefs, 1980 and 2005, which use biblical references as justification. In 2010, Adventism claimed some 22 million believers scattered in various independent churches. The largest church within the movement, the Seventh-day Adventist Church, has more than 18 million members. Adventism began as an interdenominational movement. Its most vocal leader was William Miller. Between 50,000 and 100,000 people in the United States supported Miller's predictions of Christ's return. After the Great Disappointment of October 22, 1844, many people in the movement gave up on Adventism. Of those remaining Adventists, the majority gave up believing in any prophetic biblical significance for the October 22nd date, yet they remained expectant of the near advent, second coming of Jesus. Of those who retained the October 22nd date, many maintained that Jesus had come not literally but spiritually, and consequently were known as spiritualizers. A small minority held that something concrete had indeed happened on October 22nd, but this event had been misinterpreted. This viewpoint later emerged and crystallized with the Seventh-day Adventist Church, the largest remaining body today.